Hello, it's Thursday, July 2nd. I'm Megan Peterson with your Catch the Can Daily News Weekly Recap. McPherson Music begins a gradual change in focus from retail to instruction by putting its location under the Marine View building on the market. The music shop is looking to get out of the retail market due to online competition. However, owners Roy and Tina McPherson say they are in no hurry to leave the building and eventually want to focus the business on lessons and band programs, which account for about 60% of the store's current business. A Ketchikan family has filed a presumptive death petition for a local man who has been missing for the past six months. Roy Banhart went missing on December 28th or 29th after trying to get into a taxi near the 49er bar, and his mother reported him missing in January. Although the case is still open with Ketchikan City Police, investigators have exhausted all leads and there haven't been any new developments. Banhart's family filed a presumptive death petition in Ketchikan District Court on March 27th, but they are still offering a $1,000 reward for information on his disappearance. The race to Alaska, the 750-mile engineless boat race from Port Townsend, Washington to Ketchikan is drawing to a close. Solo kayaker Mike Higgins of Team Mike's Kayak paddled into Thomas Basin on Tuesday evening, and the last team, Team Wooden Bo Barefoot Wooden Boats, a three-person team with a custom vessel, was approaching Annette Island this morning and is expected to ring the bell sometime today. Team Barefoot Wooden Boats will be the 15th and final team to cross the finish line in Ketchikan. 40 teams started the race to Ketchikan on June 4th. Saturday is Independence Day and there will be plenty of 4th of July events and activities in town. Check out our 4th of July tab for the full schedule. The KDN office and newsroom will be closed Friday for the holiday weekend. The weekend edition will be published on Friday and there will be no paper on Saturday, but our regular schedule will begin again on Monday. That's it. Check out Friday's waterfront page for a look at the start of the 2015 commercial Sane Fishing Season and the First City Scene for photographer Ranjith Jim Box's Main Street Gallery exhibit Mirror Neurons. I'll leave you with the photo of the week. I'm Megan Peterson with your Catch Can Daily News Weekly Recap. Have a good weekend.